Hello, pizza lovers, followers of Slice UK, Brad, and I'm back with another review. Silly little uh, thumbs up there. Uh, okay, so we're back. Uh, Tony has mentioned to you this week that we're bringing you a nice little Christmas present as well as a new feature. So there's going to be uh, a ton of new content this week on the run up to Christmas. So this being, uh, being the most of it. So this is our new chilled reviews. So we're basically going to be looking at doing chilled pizzas. So we obviously do the pizzeria pizzas, uh, looking at all our independence and stuff like that, as Tony's mentioned. And uh, yeah, frozen pizzas as well. And now chilled, so we're gonna be doing the chilled ones. Uh, what's the difference with chilled, you're thinking? Uh, like Tony said, one in three sold in the UK are chilled. And not only that, I, th I feel like it's like a, a step above from frozen, isn't it? It's like the next level of freshness before you get to boom, the, the awesomeness of uh, fresh pizza. So uh, that's what we're doing this week. It's going to go across on all platforms as well, so everybody gets to see it. And then as of next week, once we've broke the back of it and you all know about it, then it's going to be exclusive to Facebook. So if you want to see it, uh, hop over to the Facebook, uh, like that page, and you'll get to see all the chilled reviews. And uh, we'll see which is the best chilled out there. So we're starting off with Marks and Spencers. So, Marks and Spencers, uh, M&S, uh, Marks and Sparks, Marksies. I mean, everyone's got a different name for it up here in the Northwest. I don't know if there's uh, any funny names for it where you come from. But uh, this looks good, this does. Uh, when I whipped it out, it proper looked the part. So, we're talking, we're talking like all fresh ingredients. So it's giving it the full spiel on the back. It's like telling us about how the Italian pizza, it's from the Puglia region, it's hand stretched, freshest ingredients, balls of mozzarella, like giving it the full Italian everything basically. Uh, I'm surprised it's not said that it was made by the Virgin Mary herself, to be fair, it's going on that much. But I mean, it looks like they might be able to back this up. So let's go and see what it's all about then. Looks very traditional. <laughs> I don't know if you um, have noticed anything about my setup here and how I may be struggling to get to uh, the table and things like that, but uh, interesting little story here. Uh, don't actually own any chairs anymore. We're moving house and I've come back to film the video and it turns out that my other half has sold the chairs. So we work with what we've got, don't we? So I'm currently, if I look like um, one of the seven dwarfs up to this table, then apologies, um, but we soldier on. I am a professional. So let's go and get a slice of the action on this oblong shape, very traditional looking M&S pizza. Okay, so here it is. Looks good, looks very good. And there you go, if you can see that, have a good look at it. So it's got Santarella tomatoes on top. Uh, there's the base, we've lost a tomato. It's got Santarella tomatoes on top. I'm, I'm not familiar with Santarella tomatoes. I think that's just might be something that m and are making up because uh, you know, they're trying to give us the full Italian spiel. Um, but yeah, it all looks very, very good and very, very fresh. So let's go in, get a slice of the action. Okay. Okay, first bite, super fl flavoursome, super flavoursome. Like that sauce, that sauce is banging, that sauce is so good. It's really disappointing this, it's really, really bready. Um, it's almost like it's on, like a bread as opposed to, um, as opposed to like a, a, a pizza base, which is quite disappointing. Crust. Tiny bit of a crunch there, if you can hear that. Mm. 
Wow. I really thought I was going to come in here on this review and absolutely um, spout all sorts of, of goodness over this, but... That was a good bite with the tomato in. I wanted to get that bite in because it had the tomato and the melted ball of mozzarella. I mean, wow. Like I say, I thought this was gonna be awesome because they, they were giving it loads of m and and you know, m and is like one of your, your posher places to shop. Uh, I mean, it was five pounds, this pie, but obviously, you know, m and um, Wowzers. So, flavour-wise, the flavour, you can't knock the flavour, really. Uh, the sauce is really, really good. In fact, I'm going to have another bite of this sauce. The sauce is really good, yeah. There's charring on, like you can see charring on, on the actual uh, pie base and on the crust. You don't get any of that taste, and especially with chilled pizzas, where the where you should be getting you should be getting more of that of that of those flavors coming through because obviously it, it's fresher by nature than it is a frozen. So you can kind of forgive a frozen for for having nothing there, but um, but this M and S one, oh, damn, I, I want it to be good. It looked really good. Uh, okay, so sauce banging. Uh, cheese, okay. The ball of mozzarella, uh, even that like proper authentic ball of mozzarella isn't, isn't great. Uh, the base, not good. Really bready. Crust, again, not good. Wow. Um, it's above average because of the sauce. Um, but we will score this. M&S, Italian mozzarella and Santarello tomato rustic pizza. A six point four. Uh, yeah, 6.4 then. If that sauce wasn't on there, this would have been way lower. Uh, they do a whole wood-fired range of all different things at m and so go and, go and give it a try and see what you think. Um, look out for the video tomorrow. There's going to be another chilled one um, from Tony, and we're going to go right up to Christmas, hammering out the content. Uh, just one thing before I go. Uh, we, we put out a, a video of uh, Detroit-style pizza at Corner Slice. Loads of people seem to like the look of that. Uh, and we're speaking to uh, Detroit-style pizza London uh, on the post, and they said to us in it, uh, you need new caps. Now, I don't know if they were like offering to give us like some of their cap merch, or they were basically just ripping into our caps. So we've got the new cap on tonight. I've gone front style, uh, AKA Tony style. Um, so I hope they're happy that I'm, I'm sporting the new cap tonight. Um, okay, guys, yeah. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, go out, try it, see what you think. Comment any that you think we should try. Keep watching and keep a lookout. And most of all, stay pizzery.